Hey guys, so here's my new build. Uh, all the all the different components right here. Uh, a couple extra battery straps that I picked up from Bang Goods. That will go. Ah, I'll go aside. We got our nice Race Star motors, Race Star BR two. Uh, 2205, 2300 kV motors. Then we got our Race Star uh, 30 amp ESCs. Four of them to go with our four motors. Then we got, um, I've already opened it up because I wanted to test to make sure that it would connect to Betaflight, but uh, which it does. Woo! Um, so it's F3 board, um, just the generic uh, Acro 1 or whatnot. Uh, we'll go over all the components there in a second. Picked up a new uh, receiver for the transmitter that I have, the FlySky transmitter. This is the uh, FSIAB6 uh, receiver. It just makes it a lot easier to bind your, uh, your transmitter with the little bind pin here and stuff. I lost this one, uh, my, my other one I had uh, with my wizard when it flew into the ocean. And finally we have some props, some nice dial props. Um, I had some uh, King Kongs and some others from my, uh, my old wizard, but uh, when I was flying my wizard last, I loved the props until I crashed into the ocean. <laughs> Uh, we also got a video transmitter. I don't have the camera yet, but uh, we got a little video transmitter here. This one's a switchable uh, or adjustable 25 milliwatt, 200 milliwatt, and uh, 600 milliwatt. So I can switch between the three different uh, milliwatt ranges. It's a 40 channel, uh, 5.8 gigahertz wireless transmitter for my video. So I've also got a run cam coming, a uh, run cam swift to uh, pair up with this thing. Uh, I just don't have it yet because I didn't do the uh, express mail or whatnot for it. Uh, I wanted the main components to get here a little bit quicker. Um, pretty much two days after I crashed my drone, <laughs> I picked, I, I ordered all these parts. I, I, I don't, I wanted to avoid downtime. I wasn't, it was some serious unexpected downtime. Let's put it that way. Anywho, uh, back to the build. We also got the uh, real ACC, I think it's called, um, frame. I actually built this one last night or the night before, um, which is right here. Ooh. Uh, there was a little bit of fiddling around to get it uh, right, but we got it going here. All I'm missing now is slap on the flight control. Uh, the uh, power distribution board rather that comes with it um, and the LED and you know a couple other uh, gizmos to go with it this actually this came this was separate this didn't actually come with it I had to get this so if you're building this you might want to make sure to get yourself a X, uh, TX, uh, XT60 connector rather uh, for your power distribution board uh, in, in my case uh, I actually already had the little X XT60 here, but um, uh, I was I'm getting another power distribution board, so I was hoping to use the other one instead of this one. But I'll probably use this one in the meantime. So that's why I got this, just in case I wanted the extra wire. I had heard that uh, having the standoffs here, or having your uh, XT60 connected right there, can you can run into some uh, issues with it bending and breaking and stuff. So I went with, with the old wire. Anyway, all right, well, let's uh, unbox all these things and uh, start throwing them together. Trying to put together the uh, real ACC, I think it's called. Um, it came with some instructions, but uh, they're... In, well, anyways, I figured it out. It just took me uh, a couple tries. So uh, here's the, the box, anyway. The instructions are here. I thought it would be pretty simple, uh, straightforward to figure out. Sorry, there's a bit of glare there. Figure out the instructions. Um, and it, it was, but it took me a little bit of time. Anyways, I'll uh, show you what I 
figured out here. So we got the frame. Throw that on there. Just uh, mounted these guys. That's pretty straightforward. Um, the tricky part actually was this part here. Um, couldn't really figure out how this, these guys were meant to be mounted. And the trick seems to be that you actually kind of wedge them in here because it doesn't fit in that gap as you can see on the other side it looks like there's kind of gaps but it obviously doesn't go in there because you know the part over there is um, you know it's going to block it so anyway so it just goes flush up against there it's wedged in there and then out of the top you got that sticking up like that for your camera angle and then your bottom camera below and this will um, if I bring this out over here if I'm not mistaken this should sit something like this anyways I got it Hey guys, um, just really quick, uh, this is the next day, I was really tired yesterday and I could only talk so loudly, the, uh, the girlfriend was sleeping so I didn't want to wake her up or anything, but um, I just wanted to go over a couple things right quick, um, kind of what I learned uh, about the simulator, I guess, <laughs> or my process of trying to make a simulator cable, which was a, a little bit frustrating for me. Uh, given my background in you know electrical and stuff, I figured I could make a simulator cable pretty uh, easily. And you know I watched a couple videos and whatnot, uh, and uh, yeah, tried to make one. This was my uh, attempt here at making a simulator cable. Um, actually, a couple attempts. Uh, it's all coiled up. There's a couple different attempts here, but uh, between buying a uh, S video cable at Walmart and doing some connections uh, initially I got a, a different S video uh, for free um, but it only had um, some sheathing uh, some copper wire on the outside and one main wire and I realized that's not enough it doesn't work uh, properly or at least I thought that was my problem so I ended up buying another S video cable um, that had the all all the proper wires, you know, there was a, an extra wire basically, and it still didn't work. Um, and then after more and more research, I realized it's uh, probably uh, because of Smart Propo Plus or whatever the program is. Uh, it's it's just not designed to um, take. Well, I mean, I guess it is designed to to do the the what it's meant to do. Uh, which is take the channels from the transmitter and turn it into like a mic signal so you can use it on, uh, for uh, controlling your your aircraft in, in the simulators and whatnot. But anyways, I just found it way glitchy. Um, I'm sure anybody who's tried to make play with that has uh, experienced the glitchiness, but basically it'll stay at whatever value your controller wants it to go and all of a sudden it'll just start freaking out and anyways no matter what I did I couldn't fix it I couldn't get it to work so uh, long story short I finally just broke down and bought one for like you know 15 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever it was so uh, here it is oh and before I actually did that because I still wanted to practice yet, yet I couldn't use my you know fancy uh, Fly Sky uh, receiver or transmitter rather that I wanted to use to get used to drone flying. I uh, unfortunately had to use this uh, PlayStation controller for a while because it was working minus the it didn't uh, you know at least it didn't have all the glitchiness. And as you can see, I did uh, some quick modification with a bit of uh, tape, uh, makeshifting uh, some longer sticks for a bit more. Uh, resolution they kind of got bent and whatnot but anyways they're not it worked but uh, it was pretty pretty crappy it actually didn't really do it for very long before I got sick of this thing but now I finally got my 
uh, transmitter or my um, USB proper cable came in this little package. At first, I didn't think it was going to work because, as you can see, if it'll focus, uh, you don't see Fly Sky anywhere on there. But luckily, it's uh, you know this all-in-one. It's something like 15 different. Um, connectors or something or a different transmitters anyways uh, it, luckily it ended up work, working the configuration I needed was obviously this little um, USB here um, I just got it set on the main setting I haven't fit, played around with any other settings I just got it on the default one which was the first notch up and then over to this connection obviously to connect my S video cable here and that's working great, finally. So I, I haven't really messed around with it very much, but uh, I finally got a simulator cable uh, and a simulator to practice on with my actual transmitter. So that's great. Um, pretty happy about that. So yeah, that's uh, my experience with the simulator. <laughs> Hopefully it gets better from here on in. Hey, hey guys, I'm on my lunch break. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, it's taken me a little longer to put my drone together. Last night I had a bit of um, annoying time with putting the frame together and then I tested out the flight controller and had some troubles with that. But I got it all worked out. Um, basically the flight controller I needed to flash the firmware and do a couple things. Um, basically I'll, I'll link the uh, video that really helped me out. Um, I'll, uh, I can't remember his name, but anyways, uh, I found some YouTube content that really helped me out, so I'll, I'll link that down below. Um, if any of you guys have the same sort of issue with your flight controller, uh, basically it was just coming up um, bootloader, you know, issues, typical issues that I guess you have when you get a flight controller uh, stock uh, without anything loaded on it yet. But anyways, uh, I have my F3 racing flight controller and I threw on uh, Betaflight. Um, when I first plugged it in to Betaflight, it was telling me it's not configured for Betaflight, so I was a bit worried because I don't really want to use Clean Flight. I've heard Betaflight is a little better and that's what I'm used to from my wizard. Anyways, long story short, I've uh, got it figured out. I won't make a video on it because there's some content out there, which I'll link uh, somewhere over here or up here. Um, but here's my frame. So I got it put together, pretty uh, straightforward once you figured everything out. The issue I was having here, I don't know if you can see, um, but right down here, right near the standoff, the front standoff, um, there's a little groove. If you look under here, the groove for the side plates here that kind of hold everything together. Um, they these slide into uh, there's a little notch on the side plate and it slides into that groove you can kind of see there um, one of my side plates was sliding in really nice easy slide in slide out and the other one for some reason even though the the size looked exactly the same it would not slide in and it didn't matter uh, you know one side to the other it wasn't sliding in you can probably tell actually that uh, Anyways, I used a bit of sandpaper and filed this side down a little bit, whereas this side is pretty much... Anyways, you might not be able to tell that. But yeah, anyways, I got it put together. Um, for some reason, it was being uh, troublesome. So uh, now we're good to go. I'm missing my little LED in the back here that I need to add, but uh, she's good to go. Next will be the mounting the motors when I get home tonight and uh, throwing on a couple other com components, maybe the flight controller and the power distribution board. So yeah, that's, uh, that's where we stand with the, uh, the build. Um, yeah, we'll see how things go.